let's just talk for a minute. I just, why do I have so many shirts with milk on it? My neighbors are bowling upstairs. Hi guys, it's Adria, and for today's video, we're gonna be talking about how unfreaking lucky I am, and I don't think it's any secret by now. I don't have the best luck in the world. I mean, well, if you watch my channel, maybe you don't either. We're just losers that flock together. That's what we do. Today, let's just talk about the fact that I almost burned my apartment down, okay? But uh, before we get started with that, let's just open up a fortune cookie to kind of just set the tone for the rest of this video. Let's see if I'm gonna have any good luck in the future, any fortune. Is my life gonna turn around basically? Because we can always depend on Panda Express to deliver us a message. Okay, I kid you not right now. Success will come to your plans. Girl, that sounds pretty lucky to me. What the? I have it in writing. Maybe my bad luck is over, but let's just talk about how things in my life seem to go bad without me even really trying. I don't even have to leave the house. Like, you hear other people, like, story time. I got jumped or something. Like, I don't know. Like, they have to go out in public. The bad stuff comes to me. <laughs> when people accuse me of making things up, my stories being fake, this stuff comes to me. I'm a magnet for bad luck. My, uh, So, I don't cook. Hence the Panda Express fortune cookie. I don't cook. I'm the freeloader of the relationship. I don't do shit. I'm an awful person. Everyone's like, cook for your man. Be a sexy lady. I haven't shaved my legs in two months. I'm not a good woman friend. But, so yesterday, I do this thing where I wake up, I drink a cup of coffee with without eating anything and I self-sabotage every single time I do this because then I can't function properly. I can't put makeup on. I can't do anything when I do this. I'm kind of just like, it's almost like being drunk, but worse. <laughs> I've actually never been drunk before. Should I do a video getting drunk for the first time? Although I feel like then my family would get concerned about me, but I would do it solely just for entertainment. That's another thing. I mean, half the stuff I do on here is just to get someone to laugh or to entertain you or to amuse you. It's not like, oh, I'm actually crazy. So here's me just going off the wall. I kind of regret putting this shirt on. I don't know. So back to my self-sabotaging story. So I'm all jittery with caffeine. I'm like, so I need something to eat. Pasta with butter and cheese sounded amazingly good to me. I'm like, girl, yes, it's like around noon, lunchtime. I don't really want a bagel. I don't really want cereal. God knows I don't want an apple. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make some noodles with butter and cheese. That's my favorite meal. Yes, please. So I go, I'm making this. I'm doing my own thing, right? I'm just stirring it. It's just pasta. At first, to heat up the stove top, I had it all the way up, but then once I poured the pasta in, I turned it down a little bit. And you know, I'm kind of just standing there watching it, letting it cook. Next thing I know, it's the 4th of July. Next thing I know, I'm seeing my life flash in a bright white light before my eyes. The stove caught on fire, exploded. There were sparks. Okay, have you ever had sparklers on the 4th of July? Like, huh? <laughs> when I was telling Brandon this story and my mom this story, I didn't want to sound over dramatic, but I legitimately thought I was going to die. There's sparks flying everywhere. I'm like looking, there's fire under the pot. This isn't a propane stove. There shouldn't be a flame under there. It's so bright, I can't even see anything. There's just this white light under the pot. I do a lot of hand gestures, I don't know why. I mean, I'm making pasta, Italian hand gestures, yeah. The kitchen fills up with smoke. The smoke alarm's going off. I'm like, you know when something happens in the span of like 30 seconds, but those 30 seconds are so filled with events, you don't even know what to think. You're just like, Oh, and amongst all the fireworks and the fire and everything, a piece of metal on fire shot at me. I had to jump out of its wit, girl. <laughs> girl, what? So there's shards of metal flying everywhere. There's fire. It's so bright white. Like, it was so bright. I thought that the whole stove had just melted. I couldn't see anything. So I shut off the stove. The flames go away. I have to stand and turn off the smoke alarm. I open up a window. I burp. And then I'm just kind of standing there like... I just wanted some pasta. <laughs> All I wanted was pasta! Have you ever seen a how-to basic video? Okay, that guy massacres his stove. Massa just destroys it. All I do is boil some water and put some noodles in it, and girl, that shit is destroyed. I think the only thing left to do is to show you guys. All right, we're going on a field trip. That right there seems to be the issue. That is all melted. 
not melted. I almost died actually. <laughs> Why? So the moral of the story is is to just order fast food whenever you can. Just eat Panda Express. Like I'm never gonna cook. That's what I've learned from this. Don't cook. If you would even consider making pasta cooking, don't do literal anything. What did I tell you? The sound, it sounded, have you ever, has you or someone you know ever put a fork in the microwave? I've never done it. I have younger sisters, so you do the math. It sounded like metal in a microwave, like pow, pow, pow. explosions, meteors shooting at me. Just a brief update here. The stove repair guy found a hole through the metal plate of the stove. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so the whole plate had to be replaced, so, uh, yeah, it actually did explode. Okay, so I talked to my Nana about this, because she's been around the block a few times. She's never heard of anything like this ever happening. <laughs> Why do I try to do anything? I already have this mindset where I'm like, oh, if I don't try to do anything out of the ordinary, I can't possibly fail, so let me just stay in my toxic routine even though I'm miserable. So then something like this happens and then I'm like, oh, this is why I don't do anything new. This is why I stay in my little toxic comfort zone because then this can't happen. You may be thinking, I'm just over dramatic. Who would make a whole video about their stove catching on fire? Me? I mean, at least success will come to my plans. According According to Panda Express, I will eventually have success. I just have to be patient. Success will come. It says it will. This honestly seems like a sponsor for Panda Express, but honestly, just don't cook. Now, tomorrow the guy's gonna come to fix the stove. I'm never gonna cook ever again. I almost caught on fire. And the worst part is, I don't even know where the fire extinguisher, I don't. Had that been a life or death situation, I don't even know what I would have done. But I guess you never really know until you're put in that situation. I mean, like my mom flipped her car. She probably didn't know what she would do if she was ever upside down in her car, but you don't really know until you're put in that situation. But fire, you have to act quick with fire. Straight up, I don't know what I would have done and I live in a gated community, so had a fire truck had to come in here, it would have gotten stuck at the gate and I would have died. <laughs> All right guys, I think I've bored you enough for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my little whatever this was, give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below, have you ever regretted cooking so badly? You just went and got Panda Express and just forgot about ever cooking me just me <laughs> so if you want to you can follow me on all my social media all of that is linked in the description box below as well as my vlog channel you can find me on there i do vlogs and stuff i also do you now broadcasts if you like live streams and stuff like that if you're somewhat amused by me that would be fun to hang out with you on there subscribe if you're new here because we would love to have you in our panda fam so i will see you guys again real soon hopefully all my hair won't be burned off and until then panda hugs i love you guys Bye! Everyone thinks I'm so dramatic, I'm such a drama queen, but I am literally under-dramatizing how bad this situation was. Okay. Alright, I'm done. Okay, bye.